Hey guys, how's it going? In this video today, we're gonna to talk about how to create a contact form for your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So looking at my screen here, we've got a brand new, fresh, clean, blank WordPress installation. So having a contact form on your website is pretty much kind of a standard thing you have to have on every website. It's good practice to have some way to allow people to contact you directly. Oftentimes, yeah, you can leave a phone number and things like that, but I think people find it preferable to have a form that they can type in their information, hit send, and then WordPress will actually send the email for you. So if you've got a, a, a website that you wanna add a contact form to, it's actually pretty pretty simple. So make sure that we're logged into the, the WordPress backend. You can see that because I've got this blog black bar at the top, and we're gonna click on the dashboard. Then we're gonna come down here to plugins and add new. And we're also gonna type in contact form over here on the right side. Now contact form seven is kind of the standard. That's what everyone uses. If you look down here, you can see there's over 5 million installations worldwide. That's pretty insane. Like this is a tried true good solid plugin. Now, the one thing I've never understood though is why it's contact form seven, not just contact form, because as far as I know, there's no contact form six or five or four or anything before that. It's always been contact form seven. So if you know the answer to that, let me know. Um, but to keep going with this, we're gonna click on install now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on activate. So over on the left side, we're gonna go to contact and we're going to go to contact forms. Now, I'm just gonna use the default because they automatically create a default one for us and we can just use the standard default one and tweak it to our liking. And then if you don't like it, you can add additional ones or delete it entirely. So the very th first thing we're gonna wanna do is you see here under this column that says short code, there's this, this command. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually highlight this, right click and go copy. And this is going to be the code that we place somewhere on our website that will actually show the physical contact form. So I'm gonna actually create a contact page. And how we do that is we come over here to pages, we're gonna go add new, I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna say here, contact us. Now, remember we've got that piece of code that we pasted it, or we copied before, we're now gonna paste it in here. And WordPress gives us this little hint, it says, hey, this is a short code, I recognize this. If I come here and say publish and publish the page and I view the page, bam, we've got a contact form all ready to go. Now we're not quite done yet though because we have to configure the contact form to give us certain feedback to tell us where we want to send the email, all that kind of stuff. So let's come back here and we're gonna go back to our dashboard. We're gonna to go to contact and we're going to go to contact forms. Okay, so if we scroll down here, this is the template, this is the layout for how our contact form is going to look. You can modify this to determine what information you include or don't include in your form. Let's say for example that I don't need a, a subject in my email. What I can do is I can just take this section and go delete and I'm gonna save. Now if I come back here to my pages, go to all pages, find my contact us form and go view, then you'll notice that we no longer have a subject line anymore. Let's uh, let's go back and add, like let's say we wanna add a phone number so that we can contact people, call them back after they've submitted a form. So what we can do is we can come back here, go to dashboard, again, go back to contact and contact forms, and then we'll click here on our contact again. And then down here, let's enter, uh, let's enter a new label so that we can say phone number. So we'll come here and we'll say label. And once we open our label, we need to close the label. And here we're just gonna follow the same format as below, as above and say your phone number. Okay, now that we've added the label, we can come up here and you can see there's all these pre-programmed, predefined options that we can choose from. So let's say we want to add a telephone number. I'm just gonna click right here on tell. You'll get this little pop-up. You can modify settings here if you want. You don't really need to. Go ahead and just click insert tag and then go ahead and save the contact form. If we come over here to the contact us page and then refresh, you'll notice we now have a section 
that says phone number and we can put in our phone number there and it'll allow us to send that information to whoever's receiving this form. Okay, moving along, going on to the mail section. This is what defines where our form information is sent. So most of the time in like the in the to field, for example, we'll want to say your email at gmail.com. The from section is is going to say what is what is the email going to be displayed as when uh, when we receive the email form. So we'll go ahead and Bryce demo is just fine, but if you want to say like my contact form, you can change that however you'd like. I'm just gonna leave it as Bryce Demo, which is fine. The subject two is going to be Bryce Demo. The cool thing though is right here in brackets where it says your subject, if we still had a subject field on this form, they're actually going to insert that value for us. They're gonna take whatever the user typed in the subject field and they're automatically going to put it in the subject line so that when we get the email, we can see the subject of the email without actually opening the email. Obviously, because we don't have a subject anymore though, what we can do is we can just change this and I'm gonna call this tell 949. Now you see I get this value up here. This is because these are the fields that we automatically included from the first tab. So this is the name of that telephone field which we just added. So if I put this in down here, we can get the user's phone number right there in the subject line. And then if we keep scrolling down more, this will be the message body. This is how the email is going to actually look. Let's say, for example, we don't want subject, you know, we can delete this. If we want to add certain things, we can say, um, right above the message body, we can say, this message was sent using the contact form on your website. And so now every single email that we receive is going to have that information in the body of the email, which I'll show you in just a second. The last thing I'm gonna show you is the messages tab. And this is just the messages that are shown to the user after they submit your form. So for example, after a user uh, submits the form and the email is sent successfully, you'll get this error message, or excuse me, this success message that says, thank you for your message, it's been sent. If you want, we can change this and say, thank you, will be in contact shortly. Great, if we come down here, we can say save. Now you can see all the different messages that you can customize. You can say, oh, this field is required. This field is too long. This is too short. Date is incorrect. You can customize all these. So if you don't want the pre-programmed values, then you can change those. But I found for the most part that they're pretty good. I wouldn't change them except for maybe the success message. Now, if we come back here to our page, if I refresh, I'm gonna say Bryce test. We'll say test at test.com. And we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And message, this is just a test message. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on send. And if you notice, thank you, we'll be in contact shortly. So that's the message that we modified earlier. Now, if everything is correct, we should actually get an email from this contact form to whatever email address we have defined here under the mail section. So if we come in here to my email, you can see here, Bryce Demo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. If I click on this, we can see this message was sent using contact form and the body text is this is just a text message. So everything is good and it's working. Now, one thing I do wanna say though is oftentimes uh, when you're using the contact form, the emails that it sends get automatically sent to the spam folder. They're not gonna show up in your inbox. Now, if you want to resolve that, go ahead and check out this video. I'm gonna link above here that talks about how to make sure that your emails get sent without getting sent to spam. So check out that video. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.